so let's start with the comment contact section begins then contact section ends then get inside and create a section tag and let's write class as section hyphen padding then id as contact then get inside and create a div tag and then let's write the class as container then get inside again and create a div tag and write the class as contact hyphen sec space text hyphen center then create a h2 tag and write the text as want to then create a span tag and write the class as decorate and we are using this class to add that cursive font style and then write the text as higher within these span tags then get outside the span tag and write me and a question mark then get down and create a paragraph text and then let me just copy the text from the web page alright so this is the title for this section and now let's create the input forms create a div tag and write the class as container then get inside and create a form tag write class as contact form with a capital F the method as post role as form get inside and create a div tag and write class as form hyphen group then create a input tag type as text name as name class as form hyphen control place holder name whatever text we write inside this placeholder attribute is visible in the form initially let's see in the browser first input box let's create some more then write the data hyphen rule this is going to make sure that at least four characters are typed so this has created one input box or input form we can copy this entire div block and paste it few times to create some more input boxes then change the name attribute to email type as email and the placeholder text as email data hyphen rule as email and this third one is the subject placeholder text as subject and the last one as message please write something for us all right but we want that last box to be bigger than the rest of the boxes so instead of using our input tag we can use our text area tag here and add one more attribute rows and the value as 5 all right then let's create the button that submit button create a div tag and write the class as text hyphen center then create a button tag and write the class as btn space btn hyphen primary space btn hyphen lg btn hyphen lg is going to create a large sized button 
and btn-primary will get the default styling for the button. Type as submit. The text as send message. Alright. So this completes the HTML part and now let's style this contact section. Get inside the style tags. Write dot contact hyphen sec space h2. This will reference the h2 tag inside the contact section. Then font size as 28 pixels. Color as hash triple f. Font weight as 600. Padding as 15 pixels top bottom and 0 pixels left right. So this is the title which is going to be styled. Alright. Then write dot contact hyphen sec space p. Then color as hash triple f. Font weight as 600 and padding as 15 pixels top bottom 0 left right hash contact this is the id for that contact section width as 100% and background color as rgba 8, 7,7,0.9 First three numbers are for the RGB part and the last one describes the opacity. Alright. Then write section hash contact space div dot container this will reference the container class which is the sibling of the div tag inside the section containing the id as contact padding is 5% all around all right This is the section and this is the ID and both of these are siblings. This is the div and this is the container. These two are siblings as well. Then write hash contact space dot btn hyphen primary. This is going to reference the button inside contact section. Then background color as BE2525 Border as 1 pixels all around Space solid space BE2525 Copy this entire block Paste it below And remove border property add colon hover and change the background color to a little dark red 721616 all right Let me just remove this font weight in the paragraph text and write the font size 18 pixels and padding as 16 pixels space 0 space 24 pixels. 
this is just to make it look exactly the same as the one that we have in our example web page alright so this completes the contact section as well and we need to start with the footer now Thank you.